Welcome back, Mere Mortalites, to another edition of the Mere Mortals in Motion, and we are up to week six. And this week has been a lot better in the running phase. So, <clears throat> a bit of an overlay once again. This is week six of 12 weeks in the first phase of a running phase. Go back and check out the, the full uh, conversation that I had in relation to what the running phase is, why I'm doing Mere Mortals in Motion. But just keep it crisp. It is 12 weeks where I'm trying to ascertain the best performance out of myself in running. That is to be increasing the amount of minutes, the amount of kilometers that I'm doing, not necessarily for a particular target, such as a marathon or the like, but more, hey, how many minutes can I get? Can I improve my technique, my efficiency, etc.? Now, week six was full of successes, and I might spin it back the other way around. I might just talk through some of the learnings and successes, and then we'll get into some of the specific details as well. So there's some of the feedback I'm receiving as well. So first of all, overall in the week, and just seeing here from Strava directly, I was able to get to 29 kilometers in week six uh, of running, which is awesome. It's way more than I've been doing in the past. That comes off the back of getting past sickness, getting past sleep deprivation, deprivation with a uh, little baby girl. So that's really cool. Looking at the actual... <clears throat> screen here that I'll just share, but I'll also just talk through as well as I always do. Uh, we we had a um, really good successful week six, as we just mentioned. So Monday, it's the the slow jog, which is seven kilometers. Got that done. Wednesday, uh, I've got a yellow little bar there through it. It was supposed to be a nine kilometer intermediate run. I ended up doing in total uh, seven kilometers, I think it was on the Wednesday. Friday, uh, they were sprinting for four kilometers. Awesome. Got that completed. And Saturday, a 12 kilometer run. Now, I haven't done any of these. If you look through there, I haven't actually done any of those long runs at all. And it was just awesome to smash through that. Now, primarily as well, I've been finding from myself, now that I'm into week six, it's one, coming off the back of sickness. It's been good to not be sick, obviously. But two, it's been good to see that after a while of a few reps, and I'm talking reps here in terms of weeks and running, uh, in total, I think just <clears throat> in a quick tally, you know, I would have run now in terms of sessions, probably more than 20, and the mental barriers are starting to drop away in getting to those certain distances. So that's been really, really good. In terms of the more specific detail, and once again, you can actually check this detail out on our website if you ever want to go and see that um, down to the, the nitty gritty, but just talking through in week six and I'm just scrolling all the way down past all the rest of the weeks. Um, Monday, as per usual, it was a um, warm-up session, some power work with deadlifting and bench pressing. Um, but then obviously it was like big sort of afternoon, seven kilometer run that was on, done on a treadmill. And that was good. I've been finding treadmill work to be awesome in terms of not having the initial anticipation of doing a run and actually just getting into it, which has been good. So obviously that was, that was done there. Uh, Tuesday, it's predominantly, given that there is no running, there's a lot of uh, bike work still, still trying to get over sort of a little bit of an injury around in the forearm. So a lot of machine work in shoulder pressing and then as much as I can do around tricep work and upper body work around that sort of injury. Again, working through those injuries is something you, you have to do as you get older. There's going to be more of them. Wednesday, look, again, warm-ups and there was some velocity back squat work. I've been trying to introduce a lot more velocity movements, especially with barbells, so to get away from heavy movements, give tendons a little bit of a break, but at the same time, it feels fun. I'll say it. it's fun to do velocity work. Uh, a big circuit um, for the core, which was five rounds of 20 sit-ups, 15 hyperextension, and 10 V-ups. And then, as I mentioned, there was two runs, one a morning two-miler, and then an afternoon 2.8 kilometers, so it's just shy of three kilometers, and that was done with a, a group of work. Thursday, <clears throat> sorry, Thursday, no running. Uh, but what I did end up doing was a 10 kilometer bike ride. That was more just to get the legs always loosened up, I would say. And Friday, uh, again, it's just a big sort of back and bicep session in the beginning, finished off with some speed work. And that's where I was doing that four, four kilometer, 10 by 300, 300 meter speed run, walking every 100 meters. And that was at a pace of roughly 13 to 14 kilometers per hour. Saturday, no run. So I know I, I demonstrated that Saturday the run got done. But I'm sort of fluctuating between the long distance either on Saturday and Sunday. But Sunday's when I actually ended up doing it. So I did some small hip abductor work, warm up, and then that big long run of 12 kilometers. And I got that done in 17, 70 minutes. One of the other, I guess, big call outs for me from a learnings perspective was so on Wednesdays, Wednesday afternoons, I usually go for a run with the work crew and now I haven't been for a really long time. 
just given sickness and not being able to make it to work and not having enough sleep. But I found at least this particular week when I went to do that run with people, it did help me reinforce the wantingness of, of going to go for a run if I could say it that way. So on Wednesday, I did that morning run. That was awesome. That was fine. By the time the afternoon came, I didn't really want to run. I didn't want to go and do something else, but it was the incentive of, hey, there's people there either A, expecting you to go, B, wanting you to go, C, maybe you want to partake and be social in connecting with other people and going for runs. And so that encouraged me to actually go for that said run, which was awesome. Now, normally for myself, I'm not the I'm not the one who needs to go in a big group setting or likes to go and do big sport sporting things with a lot of group people. I usually like to train on my own and look, that's just what it is for me. It might be different for you. But in this very specific example for running, especially something that I have uh, not anxiety, but anticipation, there's some friction in getting myself going, and which is why I've sort of explained I've been enjoying getting on the treadmill because it's very easy to just either I'm training or just go and hop onto a, a machine and get going and almost the the track moving itself just gets you to move your feet and then you get to that distance. So with having people as well, like group of people, there is motivation for me to go and do that where I don't really need that for a, a normal gym weights training session per se. So, But week six, look, really, really happy, obviously, with that progress. We'll see where things are come along as they go from here will they go backwards will they go forwards who knows we'll just have to wait and see if you've got any feedback for me as well around my training if you think i could be doing it better please let me know it's a sort of valley that i'm looking back as i'm trying to just put some valley out in the the details that i'm training the examples of it it's more of just a day-to-day could be mundane could be just a mere mortal example of what training looks like in reality especially as a new dad but if you've got value to return up and go through that. Um, but of course, you can also send through some value through the um, Bootstrap method, which is sending through a message with some stories attached. And you can do that in all of the good podcasting platforms out there. Fountain is a great example. So it's just a, a small amount of financial benefit back to us here at the Me Immortals podcast, which in turn helps us produce more content back for you. Me Immortal Lights at home. For now, we'll leave it there. Week six, really excited. Thank you very much. Bye now.